All right, so today I'm gonna to be showing you all how to convert JSON data into classes in Python and vice versa, how to serialize um, classes and all their properties into JSON, into a JSON string. Um, so for this example, I'm gonna be using the Steam API and this is an endpoint that gets all of the top games on Steam based on their player count. And something to note about Steam is that all of their endpoints revolve around app IDs, and this is a value that represents the game. So this first member here, 730, is actually Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and you know these are all kinds of different games. So this will be pretty easy because all of these are integers. Um, so let's get started. The first thing that I would do is make a new file and we call it topsteamgames.py. And for this, I'm gonna be using data classes. So the first thing we wanna do in here is from data classes, import data class. And then if we go back to our response here, we can see this ranks field is actually a list of some child object. So I just know uh, we're gonna have to import the list type. So from typing import list. <clears throat> okay, so then we need to get started with modeling the JSON structure. And the way you wanna do this is start from the innermost child members and work your way out. Um, this is because in Python, since it's interpreted, it starts from line one and goes down. So you have to have the child elements defined before you know you work your way out to the parent. So we're gonna start off by modeling this child object. So we add the decorator data class, and then we say class, we'll call it rank, and then it has these members, rank, app ID, concurrent in game, uh, peak in game. And all of these are integers. So now that we have the innermost child object, what's the next level? Well, it's this field ranks, which is a list of all these child objects, as well as this last update field, which is an int. So we want to add that decorator again and do class. We can call it response. And then we have last update, which is an integer. And then we have ranks, which is a list of rank. Now, the thing to understand with Python is all of these are type hints. So it isn't strongly typed. Um, you can get you know errors thrown, but there's some quirks with it uh, and some things are a little loose. So for the most part, these are type hints. Um, anyway, then we need to have the root level which is just this response field and it wraps everything. So we add the data class decorator class, and then we can call this top steam games. And it has that one field response and it has this type of this data class here. So going back to what I was saying about the type hinting, um, we need to add this, and I believe it's called a dunder meth method, and this one in particular is called post init. And what this does is it's ran directly after this dunder method is called. So with this JSON data, it's going to be coming in as a dictionary, and it's going to set these values based on that type, and it's not actually going to use you know, this rank class that we defined. So we define this post, oh, sorry about that, post init. There we go. So post init. And we're, what this is gonna do is going to reset its own value after it's been instantiated. And to do this, we're gonna use a combination of a list comprehension as well as dictionary unpacking. So we do a new rank with an unpacked rank for rank in self.ranks. 
And I know this is a little quirky, but basically the order of operations is you instantiate the class. It calls the dunder init method. These values get set. Then post init is called and it resets the value by, you know, using an actual instantiation of our rank class for each item of the list. And that's all this is doing. And then we want to do that as well for this top level root uh, class. So post init self. And then we do self.response equals a new response with unpacked self.response. All right, and then we're done. This is a class model or data class model for this JSON structure from the Steam API. So in main.py, we can do from top Steam games import top Steam games. So that's our data class. And then since we're going to be calling an API, we want to use the requests pip package. So we do import requests. And if you don't have this, you do pip install requests. And then, so I have the URL right here. So this is Steam top games URL. And then we want to call this using the request library. So we want to say steam response is equal to requests.get. And then we're doing a get request on the steam top games URL. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what this looks like. So when we print steam dot response or steam response, uh, this is what happens. So this is nice and everything. A 200 means okay. That means everything went well, but it isn't the value we want. And it's because the response is actually its own class internally. So it has this method called dot JSON. And what this does is it gets the text body from the response and it takes a JSON and it's actually converting it into a Python dictionary, uh, which is exactly what we want. So from here, what we can do is we can make our top games object. So top games equals top steam games and we dictionary unpack steam response because this JSON method makes a Python dictionary. And so when we feed this into the constructor of top steam games, it goes here, it assigns response equal to the dictionary value and then after that's instantiated, it resets itself using our defined data class. And it does the same for this one, all the way until we're on these primitive types. So now we can actually print what this, well, here, let's look at this first, top games. Now we have strongly typed members for the data class. So I can do top games dot response to last update. And that's really nice because with dictionaries, you'd have to use that um, indexer or whatever it's called. But because we did this method, now we have a fully defined set of classes that models what this object represents. Um, so if we wanted to print the very first item, you could do print top games dot response dot ranks. And then we can use that. And then this is what that would look like. So this is what printing a data class looks like. But as you can see, we have the first member of this ranks class and it has a rank app ID and everything's working and that's great. So now that we have serialized JSON into data classes, now we need to look at how to deserialize. And that means going from the data class into a JSON string. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to add a method to the top level root data class that we made to represent this whole object. And we can define to JSON and take in self. The next thing is we're going to need the as dict function, which is part of the data classes module. And then we want to import JSON. So in here, 
what we're going to do is return json.dumps. Now, json.dumps wants a dictionary. So we use as dict self. And this is going to take the top Steam games and turn all of these properties into one big dictionary. And then we make it into a JSON string. And from here, what we can do is, let's see, we wanna do with open. So this is gonna be creating a JSON file. So we can call it topgames.json w as uh, top games JSON. <laughs> and then we want to do top games JSON dot write top games to JSON. And then if we run this again, what we should see is that JSON file pop up. And there it is. And that's pretty much it. That's how you go back and forth from JSON to data classes in Python. And something else we can do is if you look at the docs, this json.dumps, you can specify an indent. So I can say indent equals four, right? And let's rerun this. And there you go. Now it's formatted. So yeah, that's basically it. And we'll see you later.